we are ready. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to New Record Day. Good morning, Randy. Let's just make sure you're awake. Yes, you've had your coffee. You're ready to do your thing, which is fantastic. All right, so here's the deal, guys. We are going to do some speaker comparisons. Um, I did a live stream last night, and I was essentially just letting you guys know that Clayton Shaw from Spatial Audio brought down some toys, and that's exciting. So we have the X5s in the house. Finally, you guys have been asking for me to check out the X5s ever since we dropped the Sapphire review, and that is... That is what we're going to do. Clayton has delivered. Um, if you haven't put on a pair of headphones, please do that right now. The reason why I'm kind of walking around is so it's giving you a minute to reach into your drawers and pull out your headphones and let's have some fun. So this is Randy. He is my friend. He is a Neumann KU100 binaural dummy head. It is... Uh, it is amazing. Um, you're going to get a binaural experience like you haven't heard any of the other, you know, hi-fi reviewers do. This is going to be something entirely different. It's an experience. And the goal of a binaural recording is to give you a sense of space as we hear it. There are two microphones in Randy's ears, and that's how this all works. I want to thank Adorama for making this happen. This video is not sponsored by Adorama, but I will leave links down below for Adorama. Um, I just want to say thanks again for making this happen. I got to find a way to keep this thing, and I don't know how I'm going to do it. I might set up like a crowdfund or something along those lines, because this guy has to go back by the end of this month or next month. I've got to double check, but it breaks my heart because it's a powerful tool to use and I know that you guys have been really enjoying this type of a setup. Let's get let's get to work here. So on deck we have the Revel 226BEs. I always forget the model of these things. They need to they need to work on their models. <laughs> it's like It's kind of like ELAC. Like I can never remember the Models. Okay, so it's the F226BE. Okay, so Harmon was kind enough to send out these guys, and they are $7,000 for the pair. What we're going to do is we're going to listen to one, no, two tracks upright bass, and then a little trio with piano. And what we're trying to do today in these comparisons, because we're going to go from the Revels to some other speakers, we'll get to those in a minute, but I want to be, I want to concentrate on one thing, and that's why we're only playing two tracks and two tracks only. I want to know if Randy can capture, and I think he can, what I'm hearing as texture and tone and bass, something that we talk about a lot on this channel and then with the second track I I was listening to all of these different speakers while Clayton was here and Clayton's friend Mark was down as well super cool guys we did this and we were kind of blown away by some of the differences that we heard when we got to the second track in regards to the piano Specifically, it was the piano that just, it was a jaw-dropping type of a moment. And so, concentrating on what does an upright bass sound like, can we finally hear and capture texture and tone that I talk about on my channel all of the time, and two, which of these loudspeakers, this is the question, and I want you guys to leave your comments down below, which of these loudspeakers is able to play this piano in the most realistic way possible. So the translation would be, does that piano sound like a real actual piano or does it sound like something else? And that's the goal of today's Sound Clips with Commentary. That's what we're going for. So enough of me blabbering. Let's get started. I have everything, you know, level matched, ready to rock and roll. And I'll have to do level matching again as I swap out the speakers, but 
I'll do that all in post so we're not waiting around for me to get it perfect. All right. So the first track we're going to be playing is from an artist called Nanad. I think it's Nanad Vasilic. I'm probably saying it wrong. This is off of an album called Bass Room and the track is Bass Drops. I will leave links down below. Um, I won't be able to monetize this video. I don't give a rip because you guys need to hear this. This is important. So, you know, I'm going to get copyright as soon as I play these and send them up to YouTube. It doesn't matter. This one is for you guys. So let's dive in. Here we go. Bass Drops. Let's go ahead and check out this second track. Again, links will be down below for this particular track. I can't even say the name, so I'm not even gonna try it. But again, on this track, focus on the sound of the piano, especially at the beginning of the track, because he's he's smacking the keys and he's it's really per, it's supposed to be very percussive. That's what I want you to be listening for. So let's go ahead and give this one a go. Thank you. 
magic of editing. We are back and we have the Eclipse Heresies again. Same tracks, starting with bass drops. Here we go. gives you an idea on that track again that was upright bass we're listening for texture and tone and do you hear do you hear the effects of a box can you hear the box kind of waking up do you hear any kind of panel vibrations or resonances let me know in the comments section down below let's go ahead and check out this next track and again pay attention to the sound of the piano we're asked we're trying to answer the question, does this sound like a real, actual piano?
I'm going to have to remember to throw this in the uh, description down below, um, you know, for all the associated gear. We're using the Hegel H390. Um, I picked that amplifier because we're changing sensitivities on all these different speakers and I needed an amp that can do all of it. And that is certainly an amplifier that can do all of it. Um, so that's what we're using. I'm using the Inuos Zenith that is then running into the uh, Holo Audio Spring 2 DAC and then that is going into the uh, Hegel H390. All right, so let's go ahead and switch again. Let me grab another pair of speakers and let's keep trekking through this. Q Acoustics Concept 500s. I've already reviewed these. Link will be down below. These are $6,000. One of my favorite one of my favorite box speakers that I spent time with. Um, these are fantastic. In any event, let's go ahead and try this bass track first. This is bass drops. And again, all the links for the tracks are down below. Let's go ahead and check out this next track. And again, we are going to be paying attention to the piano. Does this sound like a real piano? That is the that is the question that we are asking. Hopefully, you guys are going to be able to answer it for yourself as you listen to the sound clips. Here we go. Thank you. 
All right, and I'm back. Let's go ahead and change the game a bit. We have the M3 Sapphires on deck. We're going to go ahead and play this bass track, upright bass, listen for texture and tone. Here we go. You guys hear a box? Well, probably not because there is no box. So you tell me in the comment section down below. I've already made up my mind when it comes to dipole bass, open baffle bass. I talk about it to the point where you guys probably have listening fatigue, but that for me sounds right. Let's go ahead and see about this piano. Thank you. 
Alrighty, and now the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's check out the X5s. Alright, so the X5s are next. This will be the last speaker that we're going to be checking out. Um, the subs are on. The bottom 12 inch uh, subwoofer is powered. All the specifications and information about the X series will be down below so you can check it out. If you have any questions, I'll be quick to respond. But let's dive in and check out the space track and see it, how it sounds on these guys. Alright, and for the grand finale, you guys want to hear what that piano actually sounds like? Here you go.
All right, guys, do not forget to hit the like button. Helps with the YouTube algorithms. I hope you enjoyed the show today. I had a blast. That should give you an idea. Leave your comments down below. What do you think? What did you hear? What did you notice? Here's the thing. Are the X series better than the Sapphires? It depends. Depends on what you want, but if you want to know what a piano is supposed to sound like, that's the speaker for you.